A common assertion as of late is that less guns equals less violence. Some lawmakers agree and are trying to pass laws to make less guns a reality. Here's what I think about that assertion. Saying less guns equals less violence is like saying less sunlight equals less skin cancer, or less food equals less obesity, or less water equals less drowning, or less roads equals less car accidents. Removing the thing associated with each problem could reduce the occurrences of those problems, but at what cost? Would we really be better off with less sunlight, less food, less water, less roads? Don't the benefits of those things outweigh the occasional problems associated with them? And with each problem, aren't there multiple factors at play? By blaming the thing, we're ruling out bigger contributors, such as the human factor. And the human factors that contribute to criminal gun violence are the same human factors that contribute to any other criminal violence. The only difference is the object used. If we were to take away hammers, would we have fewer crushed thumbs? Or would all those thumbs just get crushed by rocks instead? Would taking away guns really take away violence? Or would it only take away one means of inflicting it? In 1994 Rwanda, where guns were less available, thousands of Tutsis were murdered by Hutus wielding just machetes. In 2008, Akihabara, Japan, where guns are nearly impossible to own, a man murdered seven people with a truck and a knife. Here in the U.S., where there's a current push to ban semi-automatic rifles, there were more people killed in 2011 by fists and feet than by those rifles. More than twice as many, actually. Fists and feet. I honestly can't imagine a better argument for holding the human factor accountable. And every time we emphasize the human factor, the need for personal responsibility, the potential of an object to cause injury is lessened. It's a simple matter of taking individual measures for prevention and protection. So if you don't want skin cancer, maybe you should cover up in the sun. Or if you don't want to be obese, maybe you should pay more attention to what you eat. If you don't want to drown, maybe you should learn to swim. If you don't want to get in a car accident, maybe you should keep your eyes on the road. And if you don't want to be helpless against a bad guy with a gun, well, maybe you should have a gun too.